this New Year's Day game and I'm sure that they'll be wishing each other Donnie, all, all the best uh, as they shake hands but as usual we normally get some terrific entertaining games between these two sides. We certainly do Gary, there'll be, there'll be no love lost out there, they, as you said they'll be wishing each other Happy New Year on the pitch as well. The ball couldn't be taken by David Ruin and uh, Chris Joy came up with it but Saints moving it now, Cooper changes the direction onto Tommy Martin. Paul Lachlan goes in field, Lachlan breaks through, he's got Lyon with him, but Lachlan takes the tackle just short of the 20. Ray Tennant lines the witness side out, keeps him a short 10 metres as Joint comes blindside, Joint creates the gap, looking for support, Lyon there, still in field, linking up with the back division, Cooper, Nickel. Oh, solid tackling there, witness stick to the task now. Referee Tennant urging witness to get back onside. The Saints charge up again, Adam Fogarty. 10 metres from the line, right in front of the sticks. Last tackle of the sequence. It goes to Golden. Golden running the angles, he chips it through for Martin. The ball's still loose. It's still in the in-goal area. And uh, nice to notice, Gary, that uh, when I was on about Darren Wright being a stalwart, that you was listening to me. Obviously, it's more than I can say about my good lady. Unfortunately, at home, can't come today. Got struck down with the, uh, with the plague. That's my wife, Chris, but it's a speedy recovery. But inside ball to Lachlan. Superb tackle there by McCurry. And a little altercation here. Chris Joint and one of the Humes. Paul Hume, I think it is. Other members trying to separate the sides. But uh, I think it's Chris Joint and Paul Hume. And they're still going at it. Hammer and tongues. And Chris Joint not... Uh, not one that usually uh, gets involved in Praka. And unfortunately, Gary, uh, I can't usually say that about the Hume brothers. They're uh, usually involved in any action, but uh, it's up to the officials to sort it out. For Carl Hammond, who's looking good at the standoff position. Hume, lovely inside ball. Coloto, can he power his way to the line? Witness have scored. Emotion Coloto takes the benefit of that lovely inside pass there. Well, so they can, and so can witness, but excellent ball handling skills there as they took the ball up. Lovely, oh, Bernard Dwyer into space. Sonny Spruce to beat. Dwyer tried to turn him inside out, but good tackling by Spruce. Saints have got to capitalise on now on this as witness get back slowly. Cooper, up to the 20 metre. Well, the referee, he, he's penalised witness for offside. But Golden strikes it well. The touch judges raise the flags, 33 minutes of the game gone. And Saints on the board with a penalty goal. 12 metres out, Golden running the angles, trying to draw the witness defence in. Sonny Nickel from acting half. Can Nickel power his way into the corner? Hadley will have a lot of things to say about it. But it's Saints still on the charge, trailing by four points to two. Golding, quick hands on to Martin. Martin chips it through. Cooper's chasing. Ooh, well, he came across there. The ball just dribbled dead, but uh, the half-time hooter goes. But he's certainly not lacking at present. Saints have the ball from the scrum. Cooper again, going through the repertoire. It's lovely ball to David Lyon. Lyon gets it away to Phil Beavers. Draws the defence and gives it to Alan Hunt. Hunt looking for support, he gets it there from John Neal. Neal comes back again. Saints throwing the ball about, but uh, not uh, gaining much forward motion. And now it's Sonny Nickel running out wide, runs hard and strong. Mike and Neal in there, as Darren Wright had uh, done the initial tackling. Cooper, Fogarty running strong onto that ball, did well to hold it there. Witness urge to get back onside, referee Tennant urging them back, Golden. To Lachlan again, I can see what you mean about the angle there Gary, uh, you thought it was forward but uh, it certainly does look that from this angle, but it must have been alright, the referee said so, you know what they say about this referee Mr Tennant, he's good but not that good, Golden on the last tackle, kicks it over for Alan Hunt, can Hunt touch down, oh the ball's gone dead, drawn one this season with wins against Salford, Halifax and Featherston at home. They beat Sheffield away and they drew 12 apiece with Doncaster here. But Chris Joint breaks out, blindside, Sullivan's with him. He gives it to Sullivan. The ball's back inside. Golden has it now. Saints looking for support. Pickerance out, John Neal. Lachlan linking up, Lachlan on a diagonal run for the corner. Over the top to Alan Hunt. Hunt dives for the corner. Well, the try's given. 
the statisticians are wrong. But goal in it looks a decent kick. Oh, that's a superb effort. Dallas player, Dallas Light forced the kick. He's not used to it, as you can see there. And the ball goes straight to Pickervance, who now sets up a St. Helens attack. Yes, Pickervance drives, looking for support. Inside ball, David Lyon from the fullback position, linked up well. Pickervance took it well. And Saints now hoping to capitalise on a little bit of witness snack play. Well, secondary tackle there, the man was on the floor, admitted he wasn't held, but the flopper came in. Collier it was, Cooper. Lovely drop-off ball to Beavers, he changes the direction. And Saints just outside the witness 20 metre. Chris Joint from dummy half, Joint again, only Singleton to beat. Five metres short, Saints on the attack, Dwyer going in. Oh, Alan Hunt couldn't take it, the ball's still loose. The referee's down. And the referee allowing play to go on, witness breaking quickly, it's over to Hadley. Now oh, Adrian Hadley, he's got one man to beat. A great tackle by David Lyon. Well, it was all or nothing there for Hadley. And uh, but uh, <laughs> Saints will have head and ball. Uh, yes, I know, Gary now, he's just uh, gone into a, a fit of laughter there, uh, as we've exposed one of his errors, if you pardon the expression. But Saints have the possession, in the lead, eight points to four, but in their own 20, David Lyon looking to uh, break out. Solid uh, tackling again, and uh, an unusual error there from Steve McCurry. Beavers brings it blindside, inside to Alan Hunt. Hunt broke through the first line of defence, quickly taken down, and Saints rebuild again. Dwyer on a, a great run, full back to beat, Golden inside! Golden for the line, long ball! Well, the ball's taken back. Is it the wingman, Young Smith, that has it? With 12 minutes of the game remaining, so, uh, obviously, the next score could be crucial, depending, uh, obviously, on who scores it. But Cooper, he runs it up. Goes over to the left, Anthony Sullivan was with him, but Cooper takes the tackle. Inside there, Saints running it hard, pick advance, inside the witness, 20. 8-4 the score. Dwyer again, oh, inside ball, that's it. That's a good score. Adam Fogarty, I think he's the uh, try scorer. Yes, uh, a very timely try. Well, they're all timely, aren't they? If they put you in the lead or extend your lead. But as Gary said, their uh, witness just not uh, not doing too well. But when your side's been uh, decimated uh, by uh, hordes of players leaving, this is the uh, you've just got to try and build up for the future, haven't you? get people involved in your club, a once great club witness. And no doubt, as I said earlier, they'll come again. But Bernard Dwyer, he's done the business this afternoon, Gary. In all fairness to Bernard Dwyer, he, in the last uh, two or three games he's played, I don't think he's played as well as we know he can play. But he's back to uh, square one this afternoon. That's uh, deflected off a witness player, so it's all on. Joint kicks it through. The lining up there and Bobby Golden. Has Golden touched it down or has Tommy Martin touched it down? But it's a try for the Saints. Well, possibly tired. I mean, they've lost Stuart Spruce and uh, you can't blame anybody for that, though. The, the kick through on the last tackle, a speculative kick, and it just bounced off a witness player and the St. Helens players, three of them were there chasing. Witness were going in the wrong direction. And, uh, you know, people will look at this scoreline, even if it stays like it is, and the papers will say 20 points to four, St. Helens dominated the game, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't reflect the, the true course of the game, I don't feel. No, I, I'll, I'll agree with you, though. Certainly, Witness have uh, competed well and uh, deserve more than they've got. Dwyer again, short ball, joint. Nickel was with him, joint had to take the tackle. Saints hitting the straps hard now. Golding chips it through. Hadley has pressure put on him. ...of the St. Helens player, and... Uh, well, I suppose that's life. Great ball, though. David away steps away. He's got support off the right, right out to Peter Smith. Smith steps in field. But again, the cover tackling is good enough. But this is just showing an example of what witness can do. Perhaps just need a little bit of luck. Oh, David Hume caught off the ball there. He's been poleaxed. Well, 
that was a well a harsh sending off I, I think David Hume might not think so Sonny Nickel took the dummy and tackled David Hume and it looks like he threw a punch there as he was sent off Bobby Golding's telling him to get off and stay out the way I think sensibly for his own good more respectable doing everything that they know how and Hadley's going for the line can he get the ball on yes he does well if only witness had started throwing the ball about like this 10 minutes ago we could have had a completely different story 4-2 at half time tightly contested Alan Hunt scores in the corner in the 11th minute of the uh, second half and that put it back in the balance when the uh, kick was converted 8-4 and then another uh, 18, 19 minutes or so before two quick tries by the Saints and then uh, Witness just hitting back there they've got an overlap here well Alan Hunt there tripped now let's have a bit of consistency Mr Tennant Lee Hansen there tripped Alan Hunt as he went through to try and get that ball He's complaining vigorously to the touch judge. He's not going to get any joy. He's going there again and just having a look at him. The final hoot has gone. The spectators come on. The referee shaking hands. You don't often see the referee shaking hands, do you? But uh, I think he's uh, a lot to, to answer for this afternoon. 